What I'm going to do is shine a little bright light in your eyes. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. For soon-to-be nurse Haley Tompkins, hands-on learning has become invaluable. It's just so important so that you're not going, you know, first in, you know, on a real patient, not having any practice on, on another real person. Very good. She's in her last year of school at the Baylor University Louise Harrington School of Nursing, which just doubled the size of its simulation center. Simulation allows us to control the situation completely. Which is key, as the demand for more nurses becomes harder to fill. Push down on my hands. Part of the problem is the lack of opportunities available for nursing students in clinical, real-life settings like a hospital. There's no guarantee of exactly what kind of clinical experience every student's going to get. We bring them to the simulation lab and presto changeo, uh, they can experience a child with a seizure and we can do it over and over again. There's one. And ongoing research at the school finds students who get extensive experience in simulation may perform better than peers who don't. Excellent. Enter virtual reality. It's deliberate practice. Researcher Dr. Kelly Rossler guides students through the technology, not only as a low-cost way to build their muscle memory for routine yet vital procedures, but to learn from them. We're hoping to find, and what we are seeing, as we are looking at new nurses who can go out and they are able to communicate as interprofessional team members. They have confidence in going into a clinical setting and their practice setting to be a member of that new team that they've um, entered into. Just kind of shrug your shoulders up. It's high-tech training for the next generation of nurses helping to fill a critical gap. It's really nice to have the simulation center here to practice those skills because um, you may not get that exposure until you graduate as a new nurse.